No, that's not yeah, me. I should like, I should have just like, yeah, I should be. <laughs> Look, man, I just need to when I get back from it, just like just hold down. Hold down. Hold. Yep. Just down. don't do the panic jump. That's, you know. Oh. <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So what's up with the FD start? Huh? What's, what's up with the FD start game one? What about it? I just felt like it this time. Okay, fair enough. I was like, fuck it. I'll, uh, I'll see fair, how yeah, To be fair, yeah. Like, we do mix on, like, I feel like whenever we We're play it, mixed. it's like, there's like one game where you just win, you like win by a few stocks, and there's one where I win by a few stocks. Pretty much, like nothing changes. Yeah, nothing we still play on. We still play changes. on like Dreamland. Yeah, right. Like we still, still got that Dreamland. Still got like FD. We're, we're always gonna get like FD Yoshi's Dreamland and yep. probably Battlefield in a, in like any given set. Yep. Um, where are we? Thanks. Here we go. No. Peach Daisy. Man, I gotta play Peach. <laughs> God damn it. I mean, it's Can amazing. you believe this? I know. Can you believe this? Ready? It always happens, too. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm, I'm some, happy Peach, some warm ups. So this would be Lizard Sammy's, right? Yep. Alright, cool. Yeah, this is, this is me yeah. underestimating Kath. We'll Maybe. see what happens. We'll see. She, she is playing Peach <laughs> right yep. now. So we'll see what happens. Captain's taking some names this time, but like, this would be, this is definitely a set for the rest. Like, should get that set win from Ruben, that would be pretty big. Alright. We should be getting into this first game. Yep. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Alright. So, okay, yeah, yeah. The fist bump happens. Mangs is ready to lock and load. Got the missiles on deck. Oh, you know what I just realized? What? No fans. Ah, oh, that. Oh. Yep. Yeah. 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 So unless Catherine takes the game, I think we're going to be seeing all of Pod. I, I think all Pod. I think this is Ka I think it's Catherine's favorite stage in this matchup. I mean, yeah, I guess so. I don't think it, I think it's the I think it's way better stages, but Catherine likes Pod. Yeah, I guess so. She's still she's clinging on to that, you know. Oh, yep. You good? Right. She's clinging on to that whole 50, 60 percent down smash from a flat read. It will happen eventually. It'll happen. It happened. It eventually happened against McLeod. Like, she lost so much throughout the entire set going for it, but... But it was happened, worth it. It was worth it for that. You know it is. You always know it is. <laughs> um, yeah, look. Despite how your sets go versus Nangs... He's not bad against Peach. He's, he's not, not yeah, he, he's not... He's like, not bad against Peach, you know? He beats every other Peach, except for, I mean... RJ. RJ. Because yeah. he's only played RJ, like, yeah. once in tournament. Have you played RJ in tournament once? No, I... I <laughs> Oh, I'm mean, gonna play him in doubles, but just uh, okay. Okay. Uh -oh. Good game of Shippu. Immediately, Japan probably doesn't have that many Samuses, so. Yeah, true. That's that, I mean, that's just wild, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Like, oh, okay, no. no. Like, like, this is the matchup that Peach wins, right? Like, yeah, yeah, Peach definitely. Look, Peach wins this matchup. Samus isn't a top tier character. Like, if you're Peach and you're dropping these games. You have to like go back to the drawing board somewhere. But most of it just comes down to like how little the projectiles actually oh, how little the projectiles actually matter to Peach if you're like on the ball. Mm. But it does like still separate the good people like the people who are good at this matchup and the people who aren't. I think a big like, part my, of it. like Catherine. Yeah. I think a big part of it as well. It's just like knowing when and like when you can and can't go out to edge guard. Yeah, 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 that's it. Catherine just kind of defaults to just, she, you know, she, she plays with the honorable rule set. She just lets them get back to, she, she's an honorable, honorable player. There's no edge guarding or gimping in this, for this um, player. Just let, 
lets the Samus get back to ledge every time. Oh, off but stage, no. Ruben. He might drop a sock here. Grab the ledge! <laughs> it's very sad, but... Grab the ledge. To be fair now, no. to be fair. Um, I know they can hear me, but... <laughs> no, 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 that. You remember 2000? This, this is this is clear musket. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Actually, one sec. Actually, give me a... I mean, you could have told the stream, but... No, no, but, you know, this is a yeah, cool. Yeah, I'm here. Um, in terms of, like, if Peach just grabs ledge when Samus is recovering like that, not only can, like, Samus mix up with just, um, like, uh, wall jump back air, but also the up B is actually... The up B lasts a decent amount of time. The up B is crazy. You have to actually... You'd have to get a really, really tight timing to actually roll through the entirety of it. Whereas, mm. theoretically, what Catherine should have done... The problem was Catherine had a turnip. Catherine just dropped a turnip. She can pretty much just... Well, that's, anyway, can put out a um, down air. Well, well, you know, it'd be like that sometimes. It does be like that. We're gonna go, um, we're gonna go back to pod almost certainly. Yeah, I might uh, adjust that camera real quick. No. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. We're, oh. we're, our headsets are swapped. Oh, that, oh. So, yeah, you were talking to the void just then, by the way. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, that's quite loud. Whoopsie, yeah. Whoopsie doopsie. That's okay. We're in there still, so it's okay. We're all good. There we go. So you picked the stage because one um, Samus is up is way way worse than this but also your projectile game against like as peach against samus is just way way better like turnip can be so hard turnip's hard so you know, like it, for like characters like samus like because you don't really want to be consistently in peach's no, space you no, want to no. give her some space and then she gets it's all it's like it's like a like a sort of push pull dynamic where once there's space, use turns to draw them in, and then hit them away. And yeah, okay. Like, you know. Right, that makes sense. All right, that makes sense. Yeah. Okay. And if um, Samus just missiles, you have like, you have so many ways to deal with it. Mm. Like you can bear, you can dash attack, and a lot of times dash attack will just like immediately cancel. Just cleans them up. It's nuts. Yep. Also, shout out to Ryan Ford in chat. What's up? Oh. Good All to right. well, good to see some international. Uh, presence in the chat, in the cut. <laughs> What's up? Oh, that was that was a little sketchy offstage play. Try and wait out the invincibility, but it worked out. That's very just kind of like down it into the descending arms of Samus, but then it worked out. We can't all we can't all be gods. Nope. All right. So, what do you think of this stage, just in general? Like, what's uh, what's the go for Peach versus Samus on this Ghost stage? Tell me about it. Damn. Um. So I mean, I I, I always I always kind of default to like. Uh, initially, it depends on how much space the Samus gives me. But yeah, generally like pulling a bunch of turnips. Um, I always like run and shield, to then like well I have a turnip in hand. Yeah. Because it's just trying to essentially trying to force the Samus to jump. Um, <laughs> one of the like, thing is. One of the scary things, though, is that when it turns into a charge shot, you feel way more vulnerable on the stage. <laughs> on plat, like on tri-plats, you can just sort of maneuver around plats and. Oh my can, god, that was sick! 
Yo, that was actually sick though. Like, oh. the fact that it caught Peach like so close to the ledge <laughs> would have been sick. Hey, Ooh. picks it up. Um, Nang's pulling ahead. Yeah, this is what a lot of people, I would say, expected. Mm, I suppose. Whoa, that was a pretty tight, <laughs> tightly shot charge shot. Yeah, going for a fair there. Fair can work, but a lot of times you just default to down air. Like, down is not perfect either. They can SDI it um, down, or they can, yeah. like, they can get the guard SDI, SDI up and in, and then shield. Um, uh, it's gonna be it though. Catherine, not, not even needing to go out there and finish it. Oh, that, that it's, is so. It's so, so good against Peach. Yeah, like being able to just outrange her and get a like grounded meteor, mm. and then like be safe after is it's really clutch. The thing is, like Samus's tilts have actually they're very hard to punish. Yeah, to quickly answer the chat, I'm pretty sure Bam is the same weekend as uh, Get On My Level. Typically it has been. It was last year, but I think it might be again this year. Anyway. Ooh. Yeah. This is pretty- I like pretty like waiting around Peach Shield like uh, like um, uh, like Nengs does. Yeah, well, I mean- He kind of like just jumps around and just like, all right, come at me. Because it's either that or you do like, a low committal space, like something like say a space death tilt. Yeah, right. Because you have no real like real hard commit options on PC shield. Hmm. I mean, I mean you do, but they're like not very like. But you can, I mean, you can go for a grab, but you don't get yeah. that much off. True. But Nang's going to end up with a second victory. Like these matches take a while, so like it is probably going to be hard for Catherine to like have the the mental fortitude these to bring draining. it all the way back. These are really great. I can. Me too, coming from like two way down, it's very it's against grueling. like grueling. It's grueling. You have to you have to work for every single hit. And like just in this matchup in general, when you're down, it just feels so bad. Mm. It oh well. Uh that's just how it be sometimes, man. <laughs> it's still pretty even right now, which you know I think if Catherine just cleans up some of those edge guards, which obviously I don't think is going to happen this set, but yeah, something yeah. to look forward, you know, something to work on, just cleaning up those edge guards and just, um, I think she does a, uh, I was going to say she does a really good like job of being patient around Sam's shield, but I think another thing for her in just in general in the like floaty mid tier, you know, high tiers, yeah. it's just understanding that you don't need to get the hit. Sometimes just, you know, Fiending for a dash attack, especially against something like Samus or Luigi, it just isn't going to get you much. Like, you're going to nah. get the hit, the neutral's going to be over, but like, the risk reward is just nowhere near. Basically. Oh. Uh, she had the space and then she just went for like some weird. Was it a fair? I don't know. Do you think it was right for Catherine to come back here? But where else are you going to? What else are you going to do? Yeah, here? it's like you either go here or VOD. <laughs> right? Like, maybe Yoshi's. <laughs> Fair just clean beats that charge shot. See, I hope like Catherine learns something, mm. like just being able to power through like projectiles like that. Yeah. It's just that you just got to be on the ball when you're playing this matchup. You need to give some respect to missiles, but you just need to know when to not. Yeah, when, exactly. You know, you need to know how much. And yep, part yeah. of that, part of that is like just knowing which moves beats missile and like how much relative like tempo you have compared to the other player because like you don't yeah, want to okay. go you don't want to go like full committal you know like if you if you put out like a really high committal option against the auto cancel missile then you're still in lag and they have some tempo advantage yeah, you know okay. right here but yeah, that's why I like features really because I mean oh, like oh that was pretty nuts by names but eh. stuff like flip cancelled aerials are just I mean, Catherine is like slowly bringing back the deficit, but like she's never she's never on the same stock. Yeah. Okay. For the most part. That was yeah. The panic down smash. Uh, almost almost worked. Ah, uh, just some weak hits from Nangs. No finisher just yet. Guess I'm gonna leave you. I'm gonna quickly go to talk. All right, go for it. Musket dipping off commentary. To relieve himself. Oh, these upbeats. Looking like Hugo. Oh, and that's gonna do it for that stock. But Catherine evens it up. Da, 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 da. Mm, 
just yet, yeah, not never really within Catherine's grasp this game, I feel. She's just always been uh, a step or two too slow. Just uh, not in the right place at the right time, at all times, you know? And it is hard, it is... It's hard to be good at melee. Oh well. Catherine had a bit of a chance to even it up, but uh, Ether might do it. No, not yet. Good DI. All right, though. Another shot at it. <laughs> this Nair. This, this Nair. Catherine just can't find the correct move to finish this stuff with. And it just keeps adding up for Nangs right now. And that's going to be it. Not so stellar DI is gonna do it, and Catherine going home with the third, no, fourth place. That's a fourth place finish for Catherine. And we're gonna be moving into losers finals now, uh, where we'll have Musket versus Nangs. All right, but this is gonna be interesting, because earlier, we saw Musket taking it. 